Hi, I'm Deb and I'm an occupational therapist from Starfish Family Services and today we're going to go through a movement activity. We know how important movement is in our everyday lives and it's a little bit harder right now to find exciting or new ways to put it into your day. We know that movement can help with attention, focus, feeling good, and just an overall sense of calming and happiness that comes from it. So we're gonna start with an activity that you guys can make at home with just paper, some markers or pens or pencils, and some scissors. And then you just need a little bit of space to do it in. So we're gonna look at what I made right now. And you have a big piece of paper that we're gonna end up writing movement activities onto. It can be anything that you want to have them say or do. And then you can also put them on to shapes. You can, put, you can pick a single shape, you can pick multiple shapes, and then you can put numbers on them for anyone who needs to work on their number recognition or learning what they are. You can also put the alphabet on it for the exact same reason to help learn your upper and lower case letters. With creation of these things, you can have your children help you make them. So they can work on their cutting skills by having to cut it out. You can work on their writing skills from simple levels to higher levels. They can either trace or they can copy it from you so that you can work on a bunch of skills in just creating it. And then on the back of all of the cards, they are a bunch of movement activities as well. You can put as many as you want on each card that's totally up to you if you just don't want movement you can also put dance moves on them you can put strengthening activities so if you want to do push-ups or sit-ups or anything else or arm circles you can combine them and putting anything you want on these this is where it sort of comes up to you so there's two ways actually there's three ways that we can use these cards so a lot of times with the big one I crumple it up and then it becomes a snowball and you can have a snowball fight and throw them across the room at each other or you can just take them and then open them up and then once you open it up you then can do each one that you have made all the things inside of it and we'll show how that goes as well in a little bit with the number cards you can do two major things that you can take them and you can hide them around the room you're in or your whole house. Um, just make sure that part of it's showing for people. You know, and you can even go under couches and then you have to search and find them so there can be a scavenger hunt. But if you don't have a lot of room, you can also just put them down in front of you or the children you're with and you can either have them search and they can pick a particular number. You can put them into number order or alphabetical order. And so again, you have some academic skills. And for anyone who's working on reading skills, you can have them read the letter or the number that's on it. And you can even have them read what you're going to do on each card. So we are gonna take number two and what it, this one has on the back of it. So you do it with your children or anyone who's gonna run it. So this one says spin around three times. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. And then the next one says touch your head. So I'm gonna touch my head. The next one on here says touch my toes. So I'm gonna touch my toes. And then the last one on here says to sit down. And then you could put this down and you can either redo it or put it off to the side. So again, you can get as creative as you want, put as much on it as you want and add academics and learning to it as well. I hope that this helps create some movement in all of your lives.